panda and before anyone asks no i'm not turning into an adopt me youtuber okay good that we got that cleared up now why am i in adopt me you may ask well today i'm going to be trying to recreate this house behind me in blocksburg and also in minecraft i went onto twitter asking adopt me players which was the most popular house and it was between this one and also the family home i believe and since this one is a two-story house i thought it would be a cooler idea to try and rebuild this one basically i'm just going to be creating the exterior of the build as the interior is typically different so this is how it looks like outside it doesn't take that much decoration and each of the houses i may decorate differently see the shape totally changes inside the house so all of these are like really plain this is like the bathroom and stuff and then over here is like the kitchen with like an oversized room okay so yeah you could tell i don't play it top me and there's some bedrooms up here so basically i'm going to recreate this house exterior and i might do a few decorations inside the house for it not to look completely boring let's go to blocksburg okay so there we go we are now in blocksburg if you can tell of course you can tell because it's blocksburg okay so we're going to go into build mode i'm going to do my best to recreate this adopt me futuristic home and then i will show you the end result let's get to building guys So of course I needed to start somewhere, so I decided to build the exterior of the build first since that's what I was mostly going towards to copy the futuristic home. It did turn out a little bit extended and a little bit weird because of the windows in the end, but you'll see what I mean. Right over here, I'm placing the garden area where the grass is and I'm doing the base of the house in order to go to the second floor, as you can tell right now, and I went from there. here i felt like it was a cool idea to use these plank wood planks in order to build this little terrace thing outside i'm not sure what exactly it's called but i'll put up an image of what the adopt me one looks like and i think it looked pretty accurate Of course, you cannot forget about the very known Adopt Me mailbox. Over here, I'm also adding in these wooden planks for the flooring as little like steps to go up into the main floor of the house because the Adopt Me house does have an outline of some white steps. And then for the actual flooring, since it's raised a tiny little bit from the ground, I used a roof. windows were probably the hardest part i think since adopt me has these non-see-through windows it makes this 10 times more difficult because it looked really off with the color orange or yellow or whatever color i tried using because in adopt me they glow and they just make the house look more full and plain and nice but in blocksburg you can't have that so i struggled a little bit also for these hanging lights i found out a trick where you can put them hanging and then connect them to a bookshelf and move the bookshelf in order for the lights to fully hang i'm just going to skip through because i just keep doing the same thing over and over again
exterior pretty much finished and now i'm going on to decorating because i felt like why not i already have the exterior decorated so i'm going to go to do the interior and basically for the interior i'm just going off of the amount of space i have and also the little itty bitty things that adopt me does use for decoration i'm actually going to skip through this decorating the interior because it's not the main point of the video so here we have it i finally finished the adopt me house in blocksburg i'm actually surprised at how it came out but without further ado let's take a look at it was the Bloxburg build of the recreation of the futuristic home in Adopt Me. Now, keep in mind that the inside was totally different than Adopt Me because of the different spacing compared to Adopt Me and Bloxburg, but I still incorporated different items that I think Adopt Me would have in their build and the type of style. And now it's time to get onto Minecraft. Oh gosh, this might be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so there we go. We are now in Minecraft, as you can tell. I have spawned in a super flat creative world because I could definitely not build this in um, survival because that would not work out. So now we're going to attempt building that Adopt Me house in Minecraft. Kind of scared out how this is going to turn out because building stuff from Roblox to Minecraft is definitely more difficult as blocks are, let's just say... Thicker. Anyways, let's get right onto it. So to start off, I wanted to build the outline of like the grass. And since the grass in Adopt Me is a little bit more lime green than the typical Minecraft grass, I decided to use this like lime clay. I don't really, concrete, there it is. And then I used some light gray concrete to outline it for the street and such like that. And then I started building the outline of the house. building this little porch thing i'm not really sure what they are called but um it looks like this in adopt me as i also built in blocksburg it's like a, i honestly don't know the name of it but it's like this arch thing that you walk under you know you know okay and i also added lanterns for some lights because it would be really dark at nighttime. Right now, I am using some quartz slabs in order to do the first part of the steps to go up onto the main floor to get inside the house. And now I'm going to be starting to do the walls and the windows. Let's just say this didn't turn out the best, but you know what? It's Bloxburg. 
I mean, it's Minecraft, not Bloxburg. And Roblox are two different games and two completely different like building systems. And I thought it would turn out better than it actually turned out, but it's fine because I didn't expect any more from what I got. But you know what? It's fine. This is my first attempt and it looks semi similar. Let's just say that. Building this was 10 times more difficult than it actually looks like when I was doing it because I had no idea what I was going to do. And that looked really off to me. And of course the windows also threw it off. Minecraft, let's just say, is very difficult to build in when recreating a Roblox house. And over here, I'm just making the archway for the doorway. And then we will go on to do the rest of the exterior. Right now I'm creating this little couch that they have in Adopt Me. I do later on change it into oak wood because I felt like there was a lot of quartz at the time. And now I'm extending the house a tiny bit because I do need a little room over here to go into the house. exterior is almost done i just need to do the second floor but i did go on to start decorating the interior of the first floor so i'm going to skip ahead to when we're doing the exterior since this is the main point of the video I'm putting in a flooring as we have done the porch already with some fencing and now I'm adding in a pressure plate with some iron doors because the adopt me houses have white and black doors and then we continue building the rooms. You could tell this is when I started realizing that the rooms were going to be extremely narrow and I had to at least have one bedroom and one bathroom upstairs. I had no idea how I was going to be able to do this, but somehow I made it work even though it was really cramped. But of course, since this is just exterior video pretty much, we're going to be seeing the interior in the tour. I 
said before, I did end up changing the bench outside some to oak stairs. And I also added some sunbathing chairs outside too, because I thought it was cute. Now on to doing the roof. The roof was probably the most difficult thing and one of the most important things to look like the recreation. But I tried to use this block in order to recreate the house because they did not have any like black colored stairs and since the roof in the adopt me was navy this was the closest thing that i could do for it now the shape of it looked a little off but i did try my best to recreate it The only thing that I felt was needed left in order to finish up the build completely was the roads because that does play an important role and I did add it onto the Bloxburg build and it also is an adopt me of course. So I just went around the house adding in some grass, some concrete and also part of the road. <laughs> oh my god why does this kind of look absolutely terrible i feel like i could have done an, a better job but minecraft is so difficult to like shape everything i mean it doesn't look bad if you put it side by side okay it kind of it kind of looks bad but hey i mean it's it's decent right anyways let's tour and see how this looks like We could say that the exterior is a little bit better than the interior because the interior everything is so squashed together because i should have extended the build a tiny bit more but you know what it is good for the first attempt let's just say that probably the adopt me build should just stay in adopt me and not in blocksburg nor minecraft anyways i'll see you guys next time a panda girl is out If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Pandawana Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl's out!